Jay Shamataji, everyone. Let us bow down to Shamataji and put on our bandan. Let us put attention within ourselves and on nature as well as in our heart. The only power of nature is the power of love. We place both our hands on the Mother Earth. Mother, please give me the power of love. Please give me the power of love in all my chakras. Shringanisha Mantra. Om Tvameva Sakshat Shri Ganesha Sakshat Shri Yadi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha
mother please give me innocence so that I can love everybody with no fear Please give me innocence so that I love myself. I surrender ego is coming my attention Please feel my attention with your love. We can place our right hand on the lap and lift our left hand above the shoulder. Mother, please bless me with a balanced right side where my spirit is the master of my actions, of my thoughts. As well as the master of my desire. I am the spirit. Nothing but the spirit.
keeping our left hand pointing to the sky Shri Nirmala Chitta Om Dvameva Saksha Shri Nirmala Chitta Saksha Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Nama Shri Maha Sarasvati Hanumana Om Dvameva Sakshat Shri Maha Sarasvati Hanumana Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Mother, please give me the power of a pure right side. That expresses the spirit. Mother, I do nothing, you do everything. I surrender myself to God Almighty, to my spirit.
we can let our attention be in Sahasrara with no effort. Sri Sadashiva Mantra. Vame Sakshat Shri Sada Shiva Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namu Namaha can place the right hand on the forehead, keeping attention above Sahasrara. Our Father, please bless me with compassion. 
bless the whole world with compassion and love. Love of truth, love of the spirit. Our Father, who are in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power of love, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. So now for you, because you are enlightened now, is to understand that our attention has to move higher and higher, at a higher space. Now actually what has happened in Realization? Your Kundalini has risen and has come up. Just like you can say, a small thin hair, one hair. And that has broken your sostra. And now the grace is flowing into it. But it's a very small movement that has taken place, of course, which is a very difficult movement, no doubt, but it has taken place. Now, you have not expanded like this. Your chakras are only pierced in the center. But the rest of the attention is still intact. Actually, it is so intact that you don't even feel that it is pierced. Now you have to expand that. Open it out so that more strands of Kundalini can rise. And your attention, which is in these centers, expands. By expansion, it drives out all that is mythical on the sides. On every center, we have our attention, which is being enlightened in the center through this light passing through. But light is too small for the darkness that you have collected. Especially for people of the West, I would say your confusions, you must get rid of them. But still you identify, because if I ask you anything, how are you? Means what? Means you are still confused. All right? Confusion should go. One confusion was there that this is Realization or not. I hope that's over now with you people. At least now you believe it is Self-realization. I had to tell people, no, I are Self-realized now, you are. Still they would jump up like Jack in the box, you see, they say, no, we are not Mother. How do you say this is Realization? We expect this out of Realization, that out of Realization, that will be flying out of the door if you are Realized, or something nonsensical like that. Thank God these ideas have gone away. But when we are Realized, there is light that has come in us. 
we have to grow it only by separating our attention from the myths. It's all mythical. I also play with you, because unless and until you are sure, I'm not going to give you a wrong idea about yourself. I want to see how far still your attention is moving. And I know, still you are not sure. Still you are not sure of yourself. That's why the confidence is not there. First of all, you have to learn how to drive, then you are tested. There will be five stones put together. The distance will be only that hardly a car can pass through, and the fellow will say, you bring it zigzag, and you cannot do it. Why? That's how He makes you a master. The mastery of your attention will come when you will start seeing that it is all a myth that upsets you. It's all a myth that upsets you. Just throw it away. Just throw it away and understand that you are the eternal attention, that you are the eternal life, that only thing that keeps you away from it is ignorance, and the ignorance is too simple to understand that you have accepted myth as truth. Just drop it, it's all myth. You'll be amazed how your attention will rise. And you'll see all these nonsensical things which used to frighten you or to elate you will drop out and you'll just smile at it. And then only you are going to enjoy yourself fully because your attention will be completely drenched into the bliss of self. I'm saying you will, I say you are already drenched into that bliss. Keep it up. Now how to do it? Actually in every day-to-day -day life, how to kill the memory of the past? Kill the memory of the past is to have new memories. You must remember when you got your first realization. Always think of it. Whenever any such memory comes to you, you try to think how you got your realization. Any memory that is troublesome or even so called elating. You just try to remember how Realization has come to you. When you feel aggressive about something or angry something, just try to remember how you felt the joy of surrendering. Just think of that joy of surrendering, of dissolving yourself. So the new memories must be built up. If you start building up new memories, then you will start collecting moments to establish a, other moments which have such memories. Like a memory when you try to help somebody, you raise the Kundalini of someone. Now the problem would be when you will be raising the Kundalini of others, you will be in thoughtless awareness, there won't be any thought. And thought is the only thing which impresses. But that time you can record the joy 
of raising the Kundalini. <coughs> if you could record the joy of raising the Kundalini of others, you will feel a new wealth of these beautiful moments will be accumulated. And all those moments which were giving you confusion or fear or so-called unhappiness and happiness will drop. And pure joy will remain. Because now most of the experiences you have had are more of joy. Joy has no thoughts. It's just, just an experience, pratyaksha. That's why I said you keep your eyes open. I hope you will understand what I mean.
Shamataji, let us do Namaskar and put on our bandana. In my Oh. 